Yo, what's good, people? Hope everyone out is keeping safe and sound. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this quarantine business is is getting um, it's getting too much now, getting too much. And at the same time, I'm hearing in the news yesterday, Daniel Levy, Daniel Levy, has um, come out and said he's uh, paying in seven million, and at the same time, he's doing a pay cut. 20% pay cut on the non-workers, the non-workers, the nine to fives, you name it, people like me, the non-workers, he's telling them to take a 20% pay cut, come on man, what, what, what are you doing, what are you doing, like, no offence man, I love my Tottenham boys, innit, but come on man, these, these are the type, these are the sorts of people you need to be uh, cutting out pay, you know, they, they they earn so much week in, week out. I'm sure they could go about pay for a couple of months, you know, and put that money towards the likes of me, you know, people who actually work for money. You know what I'm saying? But come on, man, this, this, is, um, this is going way too far now. And people out here still defending Daniel Levy and that other idiot who, who's uh, in business with Levy. Seriously, seriously think again, because honestly, I've been saying it year in, year out. You know, on near enough all my vlogs in, in, in the past, I, I've, I've said it many, many times. I'm just sick to death with Daniel Levy. Honestly, I don't know how much more of this rubbish I can physically take. It, it just makes me sick. And at the same time, with this poor season, poor, poor season, you know, I'm actually praying and hoping it gets voided, it gets scrapped. Because the way things are going, we wasn't gonna, even going to finish top top seven let alone top 10, honestly. Um, so hopefully this season gets scrapped, you know, and we start afresh uh, August, September time. But at the same time, with all this Levy malarkey, there's people out here not even bothering um, renewing their season tickets because at the same time, you know, we're playing rubbish football and it's too much, too much money, you know. When, when, uh, when, when Daniel Levy took over, you know, he scrapped a lot of things. My dad spotted it, spot it off a mile away. He he, he realised he was scrapping this, scrapping that. And he was like, you know what? I can't afford it no more. Can't afford it. And um, I'm sure there's many other people out there saying the same thing. I haven't got a season ticket. I've just got a normal membership. You know, I'll go when I can. But, you know, it it, it is it is a lot. It is a lot. You know, I, I, love my, I love my team. I love my team to bits. But Daniel Levy is ruining the club ruining the club you know he's not in it for the football he's in it for the money i'm sick to death with people sticking up for this guy you know he's not a football person he's a businessman yes he's got us a new stadium but he's done that to invest to invest money for himself and that other idiot who, who's uh, who's in business with him that's it end of you know i don't want to go too deep into it because it, it just upsets me upsets me especially with times like this all this corona malarkey and you got some idiot daniel levy coming out saying that it just makes me sick makes me sick at least back your non-workers tell the players to take a month or two pay cut you know i'm sure it's not gonna it's not gonna even touch the sides for them you know because they they earn so much week in week out so come on man please 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 daniel levy come on man what what goes on in there? Seriously, it just makes me sick. It makes me sick, you know. But come on, as as for this this corona malarkey, I hope everyone out here is staying uh, safe and sound. All this quarantine malarkey, I know it's very very hard, but we just got to look out for one another and the neighbours etc. And um, hopefully, all this will pass by very very soon. And at the same time, I woke up this morning. I'm seeing news. That Tottenham are in talks with uh, Paolo Dybala, uh, a few other people, and I thought I fell for it. I fell for it. I actually forgot it was uh, April the 1st, April Fools. I fell for that one, man, so come on. Um, but yeah, man, honestly, Daniel Levy, seriously, seriously, seriously. <sighs> Just sell up, man. Just sell up, honestly.